Hey, Nerdy Sports Fan here, and we're talking Thanksgiving Day football. Ah, yes. The day on which all of us ritual sacrifice turkeys to remember the fact that we destroyed an entire nation's worth of people in order to be here. Yeah, isn't that great? Anyways, um, so Thanksgiving Day is the best day for football. Um, everybody's just getting around, getting fat, yelling at their, uh, you know, political opposite relatives from across the table. And, uh, yeah, football's great for that. We need the therapy of watching grown men bash each other's heads in because that's what we want to do to the people across the table from us. So, yeah, I mean, thank you, Detroit. Um, you started this tradition and now it's grown to an all-day football event, uh, thanks to Jerry Jones liking money. Um, but yeah, no, I really am thankful for football, because it's the only thing that I'm going to be thankful for on Thursday. Um, yeah, so we have the Bears going to visit the Lions, and the Bears are nowhere near the team they should have been. This season has been a disappointment, mostly because of Mitchell Trubisky just being himself. Um, but Matt Nagy's had his um, things to atone for this season as well. Uh, he just entirely forgot that the running game was a thing for somewhere around four or five games in a row. Weird that all those were losses. Um, and and uh, they're sort of getting it right now. Um, and Allen Robinson is getting into some sort of groove with Mitch Trubisky right now. So, you know, maybe he got the memo that he could be replaced. Um, yeah, they just, it's too little too late for me. Um, the Bears are going to be able to win this one pretty easily. Uh, mostly because Detroit's dealing with now their second injured quarterback. Uh, Driscoll really had some sort of groove going. And uh, he has a hamstring injury. So they're down to their... Um, their third string, uh, David Blow, I want to say his name is. Blue Blow. It's got a G and an H at the end of it. I'm, I'm sure that's so. Um, but yeah, nobody cares. Uh, the guy's going to be a train wreck. Uh, against the Bears defense. And in spite of them not being the great success for fantasy football that everybody wanted them to be, they're still damn good. I, I mean, Khalil Mack isn't on the tear that he was last season. So, you know, they're not dominating games. Um, but yeah, there's still plenty there to destroy a quarterback's first NFL start. Uh, it just, I don't care who you are. Your first start in the NFL can't be Thanksgiving Day against this Bears defense. It's going to be bad. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is going to be a good thing for Detroit. Maybe it'll usher in the firing of Matt Patricia and the hiring of somebody who's competent. Yeah, um, but probably not. You know, they're probably going to stick it out with that jerk at least one more season. Um, yeah, it, it's... All right, so fantasy football-wise in this game, there are some things to talk about. Um, specifically, uh, Bo Scarborough. So when when uh, Karrion Johnson goes down... Um, they're really kind of scrambling to figure things out. Bo Scarborough gets signed off of the practice squad. And you think, okay, yeah, he's he's just going to be, you know, a couple of plays. Um, maybe share the load with some of the other guys. Nope. Uh, he just explodes onto the scene. And, and um, he's the lead back. And last week, he didn't disappoint. You know, it wasn't a one-time thing. So... Even when Karrion Johnson comes back, I I'm sure Scarborough is going to have a role in this offense as long as they, you know, keep him because he's on a really, really short contract, as most NFL players always are. You know, the bulk of these guys last a couple of seasons, and this is the kind of player you think about with that. So it's really nice to see him get a shot and do well with it. I, I love this about the NFL. Um, these guys have no clue what kind of talent they have on the roster. No clue whatsoever, because they never give them the chance to actually show what they can do in real time. Um, that's what practice used to be for. But these teams don't practice anymore, because, you know, 
there's a bunch of babies making a lot of money. Um, I get it. It's their bodies. They get hurt. Whatever. But there were real benefits to practicing as much as they used to. One of them was identifying talent that is deeper on the roster, that you didn't draft, that you didn't sign in free agency, the, the walk-ons, the, you know, there used to be something like 15 to 20 rounds of the NFL draft. And there's Hall of Famers that were drafted from the 15th round and beyond. There's Hall of Famers that have come in undrafted. It just, they don't know how to evaluate talent they haven't seen at high levels of competition. And people like Bo Scarborough fall through the cracks normally because of that. And seeing him on the field have some success is very, very fun to watch. Um, pick him up in fantasy. This game, probably not going to be his best one because, you know, first first week quarterback. Uh, they tried to get Josh Johnson out of retirement, but he had already signed with the XFL. So they couldn't do that. They are that desperate for a quarterback right now. Um, this is going to be a train wreck. Start nobody from Detroit except the starting running back and only in a desperation play. Scarborough, you want to have on your roster because he is a lead back on a team, and that's always going to be a point producer. But this game, I'm positive you have somebody better on your team right now for a flex position. Um, if you're in some sort of oddball league that starts three running backs, I guess you're boned and you'll have to do something like this. Um, but for the most part, everybody's got a better option than him. And everybody is a better option than anyone for Detroit right now. Um, for the Bears, you do want to start uh, really plugging in Allen Robinson as an every week guy. Um, he seems to have worked enough chemistry out with Mitch Trubisky, and I'm sure Taylor Gabriel's injury has something to do with this. You, you take away targets, and all of a sudden there's only two guys that you can throw the ball to with any sort of trust. They get the ball a lot, and that's what's going on with Robinson. He, he's got a lot of volume going his way, and he's making the most of it. Um, they started running the ball again. So David Montgomery and... Um, Tarek Cohen, um, they, they become options again, but really flex plays. Uh, neither one of them is start-worthy, possibly Montgomery, but you know, the coaching staff goes away from that too much. But you definitely want to start the Bears' defense. The Bears' defense is going to have a field day with a quarterback that has no chance in this sort of game. Um, we're going to watch a murder on live television, and then feast afterwards. So I think this is very cathartic for the entire country. I'm sorry, Detroit, that you're offering the sacrificial lamb for all of us to watch, but that's what's going on. Um, the other games are going to be probably a little less one-sided than this one, but yeah, Bears are going to have a field day. Um, they are three-point favorites. That's light. They're going to win by a touchdown... 10 points, somewhere in that range pretty easily because of what Detroit's going through right now. I understand the Bears have been a disappointment, but this isn't the game to get, you know, bag on them. They're going to do well because Detroit's going to be that bad. The rest of the skill position players, I mean, they don't really deserve this. They've got bad coaching, they've got QB injury, and they've got a poorly constructed offensive line. Um, they've got a lot of talent on that team. They're just not utilizing it at all. I'm sorry, Detroit fans. Uh, just, you should have kept Caldwell. He at least knew how to want, win games in the regular season. You, you ditched him for, you know, the possibility of getting somebody who can win in the playoffs, and you ended up signing up for somebody who can't even get to the playoffs. So, yeah, you should probably move on this offseason. I'm not sure you will, though. Uh, somebody's going to make enough excuses for a Bill Belichick guy to stay there for his full contract. Um, the Bears are going to need this kind of win in order for Matt Nagy to avoid the hot seat conversation, but I think he did enough last season to save whatever <laughs> this season was. 
Um, Matt Nagy hasn't even had that. You know, uh, no season's been good. Uh, from I'm sorry, not Nagy. Um, Patricia. Patricia has not had a good season. Nagy has. Um, yeah, run Patricia out of town. It, you need to. He's fostered a bad culture and just a bad team. Anyways, I'm done rambling about how bad Detroit is. Um, hit up the rest of the videos for more fantasy football advice. And uh, have a happy Thanksgiving, guys.